Hey, what's up guys? I'm super excited today. This is the brand new gimbal that was just released by Hohem. It's the iSteady V2. This is the world's first AI recognition smartphone gimbal. What that essentially means is there's a little camera on top of the gimbal itself, which allows to track your body, your face, your movements without having the need to do it via an app. I'm so excited to try this and I've reviewed a lot of gimbals in the past, specifically the Hohem gimbals. And I actually have the iSteady X as well, which is one of my favorite compact and portable gimbals. This is like the next version and this is going to be a game changer because I've not come across any gimbals which has an inbuilt camera on it, eliminating the need for you to use your applications to do all of your filming, your photography, your live streaming, all of that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and unbox this, test this out and specifically the AI recognition and the gesture controls, which is the standout features on this. So let's get straight into it. Okay, let's take a look in the box. You make your moment and you enjoy it. So inside here, you've got the user guide and inside this bit, you have a very nice Hohem pouch for the gimbal to take with you anywhere. A wrist strap as well, if you wanted to carry that. And there you can see, very similar to the iSteady X, portable foldable design. You've got the gimbal, you've got the tripod legs, and then you also have a USB-C charging cable just there at the bottom. So let me go ahead and set this up, turn this on and give you guys an overview of how this really works. But before I do that, let me just show you how to unfold this. So you just lift it up from the side here and then you can lock it into place with the turn screw here and then the smartphone mount, you'll notice there's the camera that's on top of the smartphone mount and then there's a button that sits on top of it to turn this on. Just to the top left, you probably can't notice it right now, there's an LED indicator that will turn on and it will showcase to you guys if it's using the gesture controls, if it's tracking you or if you want to keep it off. Now it's worth mentioning that this turns on independently to the gimbal. So there's a power button on the gimbal here and then there's a power button on the camera on the mount. So I'm really excited to try this and check the response rate, see how good it works, and also use the app to showcase to you guys all of the actual features that the gimbal can actually do. It also has the telephoto and wide zoom control on the left. You've got the joystick, the battery indicator, the Bluetooth and the mode LED light there, the shoot button there for videos and photos, USB charging port there on the right hand side. But likewise, it also has the pan, roll and tilt axis, the three axis gimbal for giving you the absolute perfect stabilized footage. Let me go ahead and put my phone on top of this, connect it to Bluetooth using the Hohem Pro app. And then let's try out the top feature in this, which is the AI recognition camera. So let's get into it. So I'm opening up the Hohem Pro app. Before I turn this on, I'm just going to mount this into the middle and then I'm going to turn it on using the gimbal. There we go, just make sure it's stabilized. Hit the start button. So now the gimbal is on, but this is actually off. So I will need to turn this on manually by pressing the button at the top. Before I do that, let me just switch the camera around to myself. There you go. Let's face it towards you guys. And as you can probably see, these are very common features that I've covered in the Hohem Pro app from my previous videos. You have the gesture control button there. You can switch to photo, video and moment mode. Moment mode is really cool for nice inception shots and I will be testing some of this as well again to showcase to you guys how that looks. You also have the flash, you've got the face tracking as well and the object tracking. So if you wanted to do that separately using the app, you have the option to do this. I'm gonna focus a little bit on the tracking using the AI camera. So let's go ahead and turn this on. You'll see there's a LED indicator that turns on. It flashed for a second and now it's ready to use. So let me just face it towards myself. Now the way this works is there's a few gestures that you can do using your hands. So one thing I really like about this is there's a button that you can switch to portrait mode on here. If you just press this, it switches to portrait, press the power button again and it goes back to landscape. If you're using a camera, you can actually do that using gestures. So two thumbs up will keep it at landscape 
two thumbs to the right will switch it to portrait. Now have a look at how responsive this is. Wow, look at that. Two thumbs up, straight back to landscape. I've never seen a gimbal that's so quick and responsive just like this one and I'm so amazed. Now, one thing I also want to do is see how good it is as tracking me without even having to select my face, which I normally have to do using the app. And to start the tracking, what I will need to do is, let me just showcase the LED light there. I'm going to give the OK symbol using my hands, which is this symbol. And that LED light will turn green, which means it's now actively following you. And it doesn't even need to track your face, it tracks your body and not even just the front of your body, it can even do the back of your body and it gives you the flexibility of movement. And this is perfect if you wanna do live streams or if you wanna have the flexibility of moving around for whatever you're showcasing to your followers. So let's go ahead and turn that on. It centered me and it's now following me. So I'm gonna stand up and move around the room and you guys can see how clear it is in tracking my movements. There you go, I'm standing up. I'm moving quite quickly around different parts of my rooms. Go behind the camera. Hey guys. It's even following a little bit of my hand movements as well. That's really cool. I wonder what happens if I leave. Will it still track me? Wow. Even further away around the corners. Now if I come back, it continues picking me up. So it's doing a great job not being able to selectively select my body using the app or anything like that. Now the best thing about it is that there's nothing to set up. You give it the OK hand symbol and it does the rest using the camera on the gimbal itself. Now I get this question a lot is, can I use this for live streaming on my social media apps? Yes, you can. You don't even need to use the Hoham Pro app. You can use your own social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you can go live and then have the AI camera on this gimbal track you and then you do your recordings. So this also works in portrait mode as well. So let me switch it over. How quick was that? When you do switch the mode, you need to reactivate the tracking. Give it the symbol. There you go. And you can start following yourself again. I'm so amazed at how good this works. Now, of course, the AI tracking for me is the standout feature, which is why this is my favorite gimbal I've had so far. And I don't predict I'm gonna be having any other gimbal that I use for my smartphone other than the iSteady V2. Now, the other thing I wanna show you, let's switch back to landscape mode. Let's track me and center me again. You can just stop by just putting your hand there and the tracking is now off. So plenty of gestures. If I go to the gesture control here, you can give the V symbol or a high five symbol to take a picture or start a video recording. So I have it on video mode. There you go, you got a countdown and the recording has now started. So I can use face tracking using the gesture control on here and the photos and videos, they get saved directly into your phone's gallery. So there's no separate gallery that you have on the Hoham app. And for me, it's so convenient. But again, on the left-hand side, you have the option to do object tracking. So you can select specific parts of yourself and then that will start to get tracked. If this doesn't work, then the actual AI camera will do the job perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and stop that. The last thing I forgot to mention is that with the AI camera, let's go ahead and turn the tracking on is picked up my body. So that's not just the front of my body, but also the back. So let me go ahead and stand up. I'm going to face away and it will still follow me. And I'm not even facing you guys. And I'm very confident that it's still picking me up. So how convenient is that feature? You don't even need to face the camera at all times. If you're a personal trainer maybe, and you're doing some live workout videos, then you're gonna be jumping around doing some workouts it will pick up your body. You don't need to look at the camera at all times. For me, I'm so amazed by that. Now, one thing I really want to do is to go outdoors and to test some sample videos using some of these features and generally the three axis gimbal to give you a perfect stabilized video footage. So let's go ahead and take a look at that.
So that's it guys, huge shout out to Hohem for creating such an amazing feature on this gimbal. Now if you guys wanted to know more information or learn about the latest pricing information, check out the link in my description below, it was just released, I've been using it for a few days now and it has been the best gimbal I've used so far. So if you really wanted to get the best quality gimbal and have this for perfect for live streaming, for meetings or whatever purpose you want to use it for, if you're a videographer, a photographer, it does an excellent job and I highly recommend it. If there's anything else you guys want to know about this specific gimbal, drop a comment down below. Otherwise, if you really like gimbal reviews and all things tech, I have new episodes out every week. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those ones. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.